The Association of Latin American Students celebrates Day of the Dead, Dia de los Muertos with Aztec dancers and Mexican treats. Hi, I'm Hector Mejia with The Corsair. Here's a quick recap on what you missed last week. We are trying to inform people about Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. It is uh, a tradition that, that's been going on since um, before the Spaniards even showed up to the Americas. Probably it's over 3,000 years old. And unfortunately back then when the Spaniards showed up, they thought it was barbaric because it, used, it utilized skulls as a symbol of, of death and rebirth. So they tried to wipe it out, but they couldn't because of, uh, people would just too attach their ritual. Uh, it, it dates back to like an Aztec idea that you should not mourn the people that die, or your loved ones, because if you shed a tear over, the tear will fall on their pathway and they might slip and lose their way. So um, they try and celebrate it instead and embrace death. We also have some free food for the students. We have the pan de muerto, which is like sweet bread. We have uh, aguas frescas, like sweet waters. We also have tamales. And then we also have a DJ. Don't miss our after the week video that highlights our women's water polo player, Patty Salgado. Here's a quick preview. Patty is, is a very good athlete. She, she's an outstanding water polo player. She's also an outstanding swimmer. Right now, Patty's doing just about everything. She's uh, an in the water coach. She's directing uh, plays. She's, driving, she's swimming, she's scoring, she's our leading scorer. She's also one of our leaders in terms of steals uh, and assists. Uh, because of her knowledge of the game and because of her skill, I wish I had a whole team of patties. Now let's toss it over to Janae and Mai for weekly campus weather. Thanks Hector. For Monday it's going to be 68 degrees and plenty of sunshine, so make sure you have your shades. On Tuesday it's going to be sunny, pleasant with 73 degrees. On Wednesday, it's going to be 75 and partly sunny. The sun will disappear on Thursday and it will be cloudy with 78 degrees. On Friday, it's not going to be as warm but high in clouds. It's going to be 67 degrees. And on Saturday, it will be raining. So make sure you bring your umbrella. And on Sunday, the rain will stop but it will still be cloudy with 69 degrees. For Corsair Online News, this is Janae Franklin. And I'm Mai Sims. That's been it for this week. Make sure to pick up your free copy of The Corsair. It's available every Wednesday at local Corsair kiosks throughout campus.